You are welcome to the Google Classroom Master Course. My name is Larry Oguntoe, the Inspirational. In this unit, we are going to be considering how to add people to your Google Classroom. And first, we'll be looking at how to invite co-teacher to join you in the Google Classroom. So by the end of this unit, it is my expectation that you'll be able to invite and add co-teachers to your Google Classroom. So let us begin. So go to your Google Classroom homepage and click the particular class to which you want to invite a co-teacher. So I want to invite a co-teacher to this particular class. So I clicked on the class card in the Google Classroom screen shown. Now this is my Google Classroom master class. Now I want to invite a co-teacher to the classroom. The Google Classroom has four elements, the stream, the classwork, the people, and the grades. So our focus now is the people. So who are the people in your Google Classroom? You have the teachers and you have the student. Now my focus is to add a co-teacher to my classroom. Now I am the teacher here. How do I add a co-teacher? You can see this person icon Okay, it says invite teachers. So if I click this, you can invite as many teacher as possible to join your Google Classroom. Okay, so if you are using the G Suit, you can invite about you know uh, uh, as high as twenty teachers to your Google uh, uh, Classroom. Okay, so you won't want to be having like twenty up to twenty teachers in a class. I mean that's that that's that's a lot. Okay, so let's see how to add teacher to the classroom. Just click that. I go back again. Okay, I click this button. Then type the email of the teacher. So I want to invite this particular teacher to join my class. So priceless way. So I'm inviting this teacher. Okay, so all I need to do, if you have multiple teachers you want to invite, you can type all, you know, uh, all their emails there you can keep typing and typing and typing and typing okay but I just want to invite uh, one teacher here okay okay listen I want to invite this particular teacher to this classroom I'll click that too I can invite as many teachers as what well as possible but I want to invite just one teacher into this particular classroom so you can see I deleted that let's assume you made mistake or you change your mind you can always delete that add more okay and I see so I changed my mind I don't no longer want to add so I, I cancel that so just go to invite so you click the invite button and the invitation would be sent to the teachers email the invitation will be sent to the teachers email okay so you can see this icon close to it okay you can remove if you change your mind before the teacher accepts and even after the teacher has accepted you can still do that okay we'll talk about that in another unit so let's see what the teacher will see or even when you are as a teacher invited to be a co-teacher in another class what would it look like so i'll go to this teacher email and see what the information or the invite looks like so now this is the teacher's email and you can see the email drops in the teacher's uh, box it says invitation to co-teach google classroom master class e-learning so i'm clicking that to see so if i was a teacher invited this is what i will see okay it's saying that a social person invited me to join social particular class if i would want to so all you need to do in accepting this will just be joining the teacher will just click join and of course the co-teacher will do that and the co-teacher will meet you in the classroom are you accepting okay good so i'm accepting that particular you know invite so 
clicking that, the co-teacher joins you in the Google Classroom. So for the co-teacher, this is what the co-teacher page will look like. This person has been added as a co-teacher. So if the person goes to people, you will see himself there as a co-teacher. This is the main teacher. This is the main teacher, but this is the co-teacher that has been added there. Okay, so what can the co-teacher do? We'll look at what the co-teacher can do and what the main teacher can do. Okay, so this is the page of the main teacher. The main teacher is the owner of the classroom. So you can see here, the main teacher can remove the co-teacher or you can make this co-teacher the owner of the, the class. By just clicking this, you can make the co-teacher the owner of the class. Okay, or what would the co-teacher see? For the co-teacher, okay, the co-teacher can only email the main teacher. The co-teacher can only email the main teacher. The co-teacher cannot remove the main, te the main teacher. Okay, so the co-teacher can only leave the class. The co-teacher can leave the class. He cannot remove the main teacher. He cannot add any other teacher because he doesn't have that authority to do that except he has been made the owner of the class by the curator of the class, which is this main teacher. However, the co-teacher can do every other thing that the main teacher can do. He can add, the co-teacher can add student and invite student to the classroom, okay? Or, you know, remove student from the classroom, okay? So, but the main teacher has the supreme authority for this particular class, okay? The main teacher can make, you know, the co-teacher the owner of the classroom. We will be considering that later in this, uh, in another unit. So our focus for this unit is to see how to add the, a co-teacher to the Google Classroom, and that has been achieved. I will see you in the next unit. Before then, always remember that every teacher carries a womb that bats the prosperity of the nation. See you in the next unit.